This episode sponsored by Lake Monster Details, producing the Don's Light and Magic Legacy line of parts, offering upgrade parts and decals for accuracy, special effects, and lighting. Visit www.lakemonsterdetails.com and make it glow. Also sponsored by GCALS, producing aftermarket replacement decals and custom quality graphics for your favorite spaceships. Visit www.gcals.company.site and add some personalization to your sci-fi models today. Hey guys, Will here. Welcome back to Modeling from the Engines Chair. This is episode 7 of my 148 scale Aoshima Airwolf build. And we are almost done. Uh, I can show you where we are going to be at the end of this episode. I have pretty much got everything together. Make sure I've got this in camera. Everything together. Um, I've got the wheels on here temporarily um, just to kind of hold it up. But uh, all the paint's done on it. She's all painted up and uh, ready to go. I just got to put the... Uh, Attach the machine guns on here and the blades, and that's about it. Um, I, I do have to do a little bit of a. Uh, I've got my syringe that I'm gonna talk about in a little bit, and uh, I do have to do a little bit of light leak fixing on the inside of the cockpit that I left these windows off for. So uh, that being said, this shouldn't be too long of an episode this time, and then I'm probably gonna do one more episode after this one. So we'll finish up on episode eight and we'll be done. And uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, my next build is going to be the Enterprise C 11400 scale. I have a video up on my page now if you want to take a look at that. And uh, still got the NX01 I'm waiting to finish. I'm waiting on decals. Those should be coming here not too much longer, hopefully. And uh, we'll get that done. So anyway, give me a minute. I'll put you on the bench. We'll get to work. All right, guys. So here's where I'm at after uh, seeing the Airwolf replica last weekend. I... Uh, Pretty much decided on what I was going to do with this. Um, I did go with the Insignia White on the bottom. And um, I went with, of course, the Anthracite Gray for the body. So what I did was I, I uh, sprayed on my coat of uh, uh, my coat of the uh, Insignia White first. And uh, masked off where I was going to be painting the uh, Anthracite Gray um, to give me my, my contours there. And... Uh, once I got those masked off, I came in, I sprayed on my uh, anthracite gray, and I uh, had to come back and do a little bit of touch-up. There's a couple spots where I got some overspray at uh, on the white, and came back, touch up some, and there might be a couple more I need to touch up yet. But uh, at any rate, uh, when I thought it looked good, I pretty much I came over this with a uh, coat of the uh, Tamiya Pearl Clear. And that pearl clear gives me a little bit of a metallic look uh, that I was looking at. On top of uh, this uh, white is supposed to be kind of a pearl anyway. So it gives me uh, that pearl coat on the white and it also gives me a little bit of a shimmer on, uh, on the black here, on the anthracite gray. So um, I did that, got that clear coat on there and I've uh, been letting it dry. And I'm getting to the point now where I just I gotta paint. Uh, there's a couple of these little pieces that go on the side. I've got to put my uh, my machine guns in here yet. I've got to paint these side panels. So I've got to match them up to where I painted this line on the side here, and uh, and get those painted. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out if it's the right side or it's this side. I think it's this side. Oh. So these are side specific, so you gotta make sure you put those on the right side. But uh, at any rate, so looking at the uh, directions here, um, there's a couple parts that you're, you aren't gonna use depending on how you're doing the mounting. Uh, whether you, Well, the display, I should say. Whether you're mounting it or whether you're putting it on uh, the ground, letting it rest on the landing gear. So um, if you are, I actually think it's the next page over. If you are using the display stand to display this as in flight mode, um, you can always put the landing gear on it and display it with the landing gear in flight mode if you want. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to actually, I think I'm going to modify it. But they've come with these, I think I discussed this before, they came with these, uh, oh, let me find them. Oh, right here, there. 
they came with these two covers for the uh, the side uh, wheel wells and those were never covered in the show the wheels were always exposed I never understood that because you know you got this armored helicopter but the tires never get shot, <laughs> shot up apparently uh, because they're always exposed in the wheel wells. I think the one in, in the front retracts up in and uh, has a cover over it, but uh, the side ones didn't. So I think what I'm going to do is modify the landing gear and uh, try to get them up in the wheel well to make it look like they're just retracted up in there. And the front one, um, the front one comes with this cover here. So this cover here just pushes into place, or it's supposed to. I've tried it a couple times and couldn't get in there, so I'm just going to wait. Um, but it's supposed to push up. This peg is supposed to just kind of push up into that, that fitting that we put in there um, so that you can take the landing gear in and out. So I'll be using that. Um, I've got to paint that. But I've got a couple other parts I've got to paint anyway. So if you're displaying it with the landing gear, you're not going to use this part. Uh, this is part 70. And you're not going to use... Uh, I don't know to do with them again. You're not going to use uh, these two parts, which is part uh, 129 and 130. So I'm not going to use these either way because they just they're not accurate. Um, there were never any covers over those wheel wells, so those will not be getting used. And uh, so other than that, what I've got left is I've got to paint um, these two uh, little fins that go on the, the uh, wing on the back. Uh, part 63 and uh, 64 but I've also got to put that white on here as well so I got to paint these and get those in place I've got to paint these and get those attached to the machine guns and get those in place uh, but I've still got to paint I think this is dry enough now I still got to paint this has to be uh, it's the inside of this is supposed to be and I think on both sides really um, it's supposed to be a uh, Oh, a green. It's supposed to be like a, uh, oh, where's my green at? I don't know where the green is. I think I talked about it already before anyway, but uh, it's supposed to be like a, uh, an army green. Uh, I don't know what they call that color. It's camouflage gray. I don't know. I'll find it here in a little bit when I go to paint it and uh, talk about it. I think I already mentioned it earlier in one of the other videos. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get those parts painted up. Um, oh, another thing to note too is, if you're not using the display stand and you do lose, use the landing gear, they've got this part here, part 68, uh, which I just saw a second ago, right here, that uh, covers that hole where the uh, display stand would go on the bottom here. So I'm not going to be using that either. Um, actually, what I've done, real quick, this is the uh, peg that goes into the bottom um, that you hook your display stand to. And what I've done is I've made um, a notch in here so that I can fit. I should be able to fit my magnet wire in here. Yep, there we go. And see it slides up in there and it leaves room, just enough room for my magnet wire to come out. And uh, I'll probably wind this down through the stand or something. I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet. I haven't gotten that far yet, people. But uh, at any rate, that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to get these parts painted up. I've got to get the, uh, the nose cone here painted up as well and uh, get that matching. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. All right guys, so I've got everything uh, painted up. I did some of the uh, some of the little touch-ups here. I did the gloss black on the uh, little window here that the cameras and sensors and all sit behind. And I uh, did the uh, olive drab on the inside part here where the uh, guns are going to go. And uh, other than that, um, so paint up. I did put the uh, ADF pod on the bottom here, and also I did uh, cement in my little contact here for me to do the mount on. So that's all good to go. Um, paint job turned out pretty decent. There's a couple little spots where I had a little, like I said before, I had a little, uh, little bleed through when I did the paint, but uh, not too bad. It turned out pretty good. So. Uh, now we're ready to put on the final touches. I've got everything painted and uh, ready to go. So uh, we're kind of already out of order on the directions here. So I think we'll just go ahead and uh, attach these last couple pieces. We don't have a whole lot. Um, I do still have to do some painting on the uh, the rear rotor there and uh, a couple, couple of little things. But uh, we'll do what we can here and I'll probably do one more episode to kind of wrap things up. So... Uh, 
First thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna start from the back and work my way to the front. I'm gonna attach the uh, the tail fin here and uh, get that put on. I'll do a little scrape and scrape a little paint off off the back end here, so that we uh, get a good contact point where these spots are that it needs to contact. I'll do a whole lot of scraping, just something that gives us a little bit of a solid contact point there in between these two uh, these two little bumps here that are going to fit in there, these two little pegs. Alright. Just going to dab a little glue on the center here, make sure I get it on those pegs. And this part just uh, fits right in. drop right into place just like that and uh, paint lines up pretty good there lines up perfectly actually so glad that turned out right <laughs> that's a win all right then we're gonna do these uh, we've got these fins on the side here on this wing on the back that need to go on so just gonna do a little glue on there I've already scraped these at least uh, that part there Line this up with the tab here. Not too sure about the wing sticking out past that. I didn't think it was like that. Uh, as far as I could tell from the photos I took, I don't think it was like that on the. Uh, the replica one that I took a look at, so yeah, I'm gonna have to touch that up. There's a little bit of a little bit of paint wear right there. I must have touched it or something after I painted it. All right, so let's do this side here. Don't need a lot of glue on there, just enough to get a bond on there. should just slide into place on there. If I can find the right spot for it. There we go. Look at these from back, make sure that they are straight up and down. Alright. This one lined up a little bit better. Alright. There we go. Those are on. So looking good. Got all that on, and uh, the uh, the machine guns I'm not going to see them in place yet. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of touch up on these, but I will stick them in place just so you kind of get an idea of uh, how these are going to sit on here. These pegs just kind of push into place. You don't really have to cement these in place. Um, they'll they'll sit in there pretty nicely uh, just by being press fit in there. place and uh, we do need to do these uh, vents back here in the back I believe going like this I do, did do a little bit of flat black here and I don't know if I showed these but I did uh, grind out that opening in the back and you can see that's already kind of uh, kind of scratched out a little bit there scratch out a little bit here too just to make sure we get some contact <laughs> This isn't going to be uh, completely obviously but when you scratch the surface because remember this is molded in black. <laughs> All right, and we'll get uh, actually I'm going to use my cup here because I don't want to get it all over. I'll just put, it, put some glue on the cup there. here alright let's see I believe this one goes 
goes on this side. Make sure we get that pressed in there all the way. Alright. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Scrape a little bit here around the edges. spots on this side too where apparently I handled it before it completely dried and uh, just kind of rubbed off a little bit so I'm going to have to come back and touch that up all right so we got those in and uh, let's see what else we got it's almost it. I do have to attach the main rotor yet, but I'm not ready to do that because I do have some more work to do on the uh, the rear rotor, and I want to put those both on at the same time. Um, I do need to attach the fuel uh, the fueler here, the mid air fueling uh, receptacle, whatever it's called. I do need to put that on. So let's just get just a little dab of glue on that. Attach that to the front here. We got that in place. I do need to paint a silver tip on this yet, but again, I will get to that. So, as far as parts, uh, all that's left is uh, these are the covers for the underside that I said I wasn't going to use. So, don't need those. So, that tree is done. Uh, this tree just has that one piece that plugs in under the, uh, the belly of Airwolf there if you're not going to put it on the mount. And I'm not going to use that, so that tree's done. And then, uh, all I've got on this one is to cut the rotor off and that tree is done so clean this up a little bit um, I think I do have decals that need to go on this yet so anyway that is cut out ready to go ready to get some decals on it um, oh I do have two little pieces on here um, these two little antennas that go on the front. Cut those out. You gotta be careful with these because these are very small. Okay. Let's see where it is. from a couple different directions and just make sure that it's pointing straight out like it's supposed to not in, a, not in an angle all right so that one is good and we've got one more to cut out and once we've cut that out that tree is done and that is the last of the parts that we need to cut out if you've been following along uh, with the order I've been going in here. All right. I may have to do some touch up to these after I get them on. And this one goes on the 
this side. There's a very small pin on these. It needs to go in the hole in there, and of course my tweezers want to stick to it now. that in place. These are pointing in the same direction. Alright, so we've got those in place as well. Just light over here. So that's it. That front end's done. And uh, except for the rotors and finalizing these uh, machine guns, uh, the motors, uh, model's just about done. So we're just about there. Like I said, I'm probably going to do one more video on this, just a quick one, wrap it up, and uh, finish installing these last couple parts. I do have some decals to do, so I'm going to go off camera and do these. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory. These go on the windows on the sides. And uh, i got to look up this one. I'm not sure where this one goes, but I believe these go on, um, at least these two, I believe, go on that back rotor. This one I've got to look up. I'm not sure where that one goes. So, anyway, I'm going to do these decals and uh, just wrap up this episode. Uh, just kind of come back and finish it up real quick uh, with one more episode next week. I've got to, uh, I do need to uh, come in. Let's pull this cotton out though before I close this up. You can see this cotton in here. I got some little pieces to pull out. Get those cleared out. And then this one on this side come out. All right. So we got all the cotton balls out of there. I do have a couple little couple little pieces I'm about to pull out of there, work on a little more, get out. They uh, got stuck to the paint when I painted it, which is all right, because this part here I'm just going to scrape anyway, and that's where those other windows are going to connect to. I do need to, um, oh, let's see if I've got my, uh, you know, one second, let's see if I've got my little syringes here. All right, so these are the little syringes I've got. These are uh, dental syringes, actually. And... Um, We'll see if this will actually work to fit down in here to get to that light leak I was talking about. Let's see. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, it'll get in there. It's it'll be hard to show on camera, but uh, the glare on there. But you can see where it's at. Right there is where I need to get uh, with some, with a slurry. I'm going to make using my uh, perfect plastic putty and some water. I'm just going to need to squirt it in there, and uh, that should take care of that light leak inside there. And then I've also got, I can get down in here also with this, and there's a light leak here and a light leak on this side, which is going to be a little tighter, it feels like, but I should be able to get to it and seal that up as well. So these, these little dental syringes come in handy for that, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll cover that when I get to that point. I'm going to do that here in a little bit, and like I said, that'll be on the next episode, so... Anyway, guys, uh, almost done with it. Just about there. Uh, everything's together. She's painted. Uh, she's coming along nice. I've got a couple little spots where I accidentally rubbed or touched the paint too early, and it's kind of come off a little bit. I'll come back uh, with a, and do a little dry brush on that, and that'll take care of that and cover that up. And uh, then once I'm done with that, I'll, uh, I've already done a pearl on this. I'll probably come back with a little more pearl because it looks like I didn't quite get it up here. And uh, that pearl just gives it a little bit of a metallic sheen. And then what I'll probably do, uh, what I did on this test piece uh, right here, was uh, I did the uh, anthracite gray. I came over it with the pearl. And then I came over it with my uh, matte clear. And that kind of just toned it down just a little bit. So um, you can see, 
Uh, I don't know if you can see maybe the sheen difference between these. Just a little bit duller on this piece where I did the matte clear coat. So that's what I'll do. That'll bring it down a little bit, but I'll still have a little bit of that metallic look to the black because of that pearl coat. So anyway, it's uh, almost done and she's looking pretty good to me. Um, so at any rate, guys, I appreciate all you guys have been watching and subscribing. Um, I just hit, I think, 550 subscribers, and I'm, I'm happy to know that people are watching the videos. You're finding stuff useful. And uh, please hit me up, uh, leave a comment, you know, if you uh, find anything in particular useful or there's anything you want to add to this maybe that I left out. But uh, I appreciate everybody watching and everybody subscribing. And if you don't want to subscribe, you don't have to. But, hey, I appreciate everybody that does. But uh, at any rate, guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, keep modeling.